and I'm a federal whist whistleblower, and I'm holding 36 bad judges accountable for their bad conduct. Um, one of the things that happened in my underlying district court case was that Judge Patterson ruled in May of 2005. And he ruled um, against me. Uh, one of the things that he said, however, was that there was a two-year fraud discovery rule in civil cases and a one-year fraud discovery rule for criminal prosecution. Now, Judge Patterson ruled against me erroneously in May of 2005. In June of 2005, one month later, I discovered my falsified promissory note. And I tried to go back to Judge Patterson and say, I have the ability to amend my complaint. I have newly discovered evidence, and I can demonstrate active fraudulent concealment. So there's no statute of limitations issues in my case. But again, Judge Patterson ruling from the bench will not allow me, a victim of federal student loan fraud to access and correct my records in violation of federal law. So in effect, he is legislating from the bench, he refuses to respect the law, and is repealing these laws unilaterally, and that's wrong. Discovery rule for criminal prosecution. Now, Judge Patterson ruled against me erroneously in May of 2005. In June of 2005, one month later, I discovered my falsified promissory note. And I tried to go back to Judge Patterson and say, I have the ability to amend my complaint. I have newly discovered evidence, and I can demonstrate active fraudulent concealment. So there's no statute of limitations issues in my case. But again, Judge Patterson ruling from the bench will not allow me, a victim of federal student loan fraud, to access and correct my records in violation of federal law. So in effect, Effect, he is legislating from the bench, he refuses to respect the law, and is repealing these laws unilaterally, and that's wrong.